Happy February and welcome back to EDO90. I'm Tim and this month we'll be sharing news about our upcoming global online event, CS First and Minecraft Education Edition. Let's take a look. To start things off, don't forget to register for the upcoming Learning with Google event. Taking place February 17th and 18th, join us for a global event where we'll share product launches and updates and hear stories from schools around the world. If you haven't signed up yet, find the registration link in the video description below. Next, the Google for Education services offer is back for 2021. US or Canada-based educational institutions who purchase G Suite Enterprise for Education or Chromebooks and Chrome Education Upgrade in 2021 may be eligible to receive free deployment, educator training, or analytics services. You can find all the details in the links below. CS First is now an additional service of G Suite for Education, which means educators and students can now take advantage of a more streamlined experience. Teachers can sync their CS First account with Google Classroom to import class rosters and assign lessons directly from CS First to Classroom. Administrators, make sure to turn on access to CS First from your admin dashboard today. There are more than 100 million teachers and students using Google Classroom, and we just rolled out a new video series to support them in solving key teaching and learning challenges with Classroom. There are 60 videos across nine languages focused on areas like communication, assessment, and hybrid learning. Check them out. As many of you know, one of the most popular educational apps is now available on Chromebooks, Minecraft Education Edition. You can now access Minecraft, an Android app, on Chromebooks and log in with your school Google account via Google Single Sign-On. To learn more and for ideas on how to use this tool in the classroom, check out the Chromebook App Hub. And to see it in action, Check out the links below to see how Jefferson County Public Schools, the largest district in Kentucky, has been using Minecraft Education Edition on Chromebooks across the curriculum to keep students engaged during remote learning and to ensure that every student has access to learning. Well, that does it for this episode, but we look forward to sharing more news with you at the Learning with Google event on February 17th and 18th. In the comments below, let us know what updates to Google tools you hope to see announced. We'll see you then. We're back with season eight of EDU 90. Join us as we kick things off with updates across learning with Google, Meet, and originality reports. 